Hello children. By now you already know what are sentences, right? Yes, a sentence is a group of words which makes a complete sense. Yes? So today let us do something new. Let us read the question first. Rewrite the following sentences using capital letters, full stops and question marks wherever necessary. Yes, we will be getting some group of words and I have to rewrite the group of words means rearrange them. Yes, we have to again write the answer for those. Let, let us see how do we do that. Suppose first group of words I have got Maya is my friend. Maya is my friend. Yes. Now, here, Maya is the name of a girl, but it is not written with a capital letter. It is written with a small letter. Yes. And as we know, the name of a person we have to write with a capital letter. And do you see? Like it is a sentence, but there is no full stop. We, I have not ended with a full stop. So again, this same group of words, I have to rewrite. Yes, that means I have to write the answer for this. Now, let me start writing the answer. Now, as I told you, Maya is the name of a girl. And anyone's name will start with a capital letter. So, this small letter M will turn into capital letter N. Let me start writing the answer. Maya. Yes, instead of small letter M, I have turned into capital letter M. So, I need to mark this. Yes, I have to mark the change. Here it was small letter and here it has become capital letter. Maya is, the rest will remain the same because there is no name. Maya is my friend. Yes, and this group of words, it seems to be a sentence and in a sentence at the end we put a full stop. Yes, so I will have to add a full stop when I finish this group of words and this has become a sentence. Yes, Maya is my friend. Okay, now the next set of words or group of words let me take. What is your name? What is your name? Yes. Now here, the first letter of the sentence has started with a small letter. There is no full stop or question mark at the end. So let us rewrite this set of words again. Okay. So let me write the answer and as we know I have to start with a capital letter in the beginning of the sentence. So the small letter W will turn into capital letter W. What? And as I told you I have to mark the change with a green color pencil. It was small letter W and it has become capital letter W. And the rest will remain the same I think because there is no names. What is your name? So I will repeat the same thing. What is your name? Now how do you read this group of words? If I have to ask someone how will I read this? Will I read this as what is your name? Or will I read this as what is your name? Yes, the second way I will ask and then we can say that this is the question. Yes, this set of words is not a sentence, it is a question. So, I have to put one question mark at the end. Okay, now let us see another sentence like we live in Labar. We live in Labar. Yes. Now, here the same thing. It has started with a small letter. And is there any name? Yes. Laban is the name of a... Yes, it is the name of a place. So, this name is written with a small letter. 
So I think we need to change the small letters into capital letter. So let us write the answer. We can make it like the small letter W will turn into capital letter W. And I have to mark this because I have make, made a change here. Yes, we leave, we leave in, now, we leave in Laban. Laban, I told you it is the name of a place. So, I have to write the first letter of this word, capital. It was small here and now I will make it capital letter and I have to mark it. And this set of words has become a question or a sentence. Yes, it is a sentence. We live in Laban. So, at the end, I have to put a full stop. Okay? So, whenever a set of words turns into a question, we, put, we end the set of words with a question mark. And when the set of words turns into a sentence, it, we end up putting a full stop. Thank you so much. That's all for today.